My name is Leela and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making soy sauce chicken breast. Now traditionally a whole chicken is used for soy sauce chicken, but I'm just going to use the breasts and they're going to be braised in a soy sauce broth and it's going to make the meat flavorful and soft. So let's go ahead and get started. Now for this recipe, I'm going to be using two chicken breasts which have the bone in and skin on. This is about two pounds of chicken. I'm also using two green onions, an inch piece of fresh ginger, and this pre-chopped organic garlic. Now you can usually find this in the produce section of most local grocery stores. If you can't find it, you can simply dice two small cloves of garlic. And finally, I'm going to use a third of a cup of soy sauce, and about a cup or two of chicken broth. Now the first thing I want to do is preheat my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then I want to make sure that the racks inside are on the lower levels so that my braising pot fits nicely into the center of my oven. So now that I've got my oven preheated I'm going to start preparing my ingredients. I'm going to first chop off the ends of the green onions. Now I've already washed and dried these. Then I'm going to cut them in half lengthwise, just straight down the center like this. And then just roughly chop them into one inch pieces. And with the ginger, I'm just going to peel it using my knife and then roughly dice it. Now the ginger peels I'll often save and use them in either tea or soup stock. They're great for that. Okay, so now I'm just going to measure out my two teaspoons of pre-chopped garlic. And again, remember, if you don't have the pre-chopped garlic, you can simply just dice up two cloves of garlic. So now that I've got all of my seasonings prepared, I'm going to place my two chicken breasts inside my braising pot and I'm going to poke the skin just lightly and this is going to help the chicken soak up all of the flavors of the soy sauce base. And once they're poked, I'm going to evenly pour on the soy sauce. Now I just want to kind of get the tops all soaked with the liquid. Then I'm going to add the chicken broth. Now I'm just going to add this until it reaches halfway up the chicken breast. Then I'm going to add the seasonings, just distributing them evenly, the garlic, the ginger, and the green onion, so that they're evenly around the chicken. Now you can make more chicken with this recipe, like sometimes I do three or four breasts, using the same amount of seasonings, but a little bit less broth, because you just want it to come halfway up the chicken. Okay, so now I'm just going to place the lid on and place it in the oven for an hour and a half. Now this is going to take a total of five hours to cook, but after an hour and a half, we're actually going to flip the chicken. So now that it's been cooking an hour and a half, I'm just carefully removing the lid and then I'm going to flip the chicken over. Now at the same time here, you want to make sure that the liquid hasn't boiled out. I know in some um, braising pots, the liquid tends to evaporate quicker. And if it does, you just want to add more um, chicken broth until it, it again fills up and covers half of the chicken breast. So now I'm just going to place these back in the oven for another two hours. Now again, after two hours, I'm going to remove the lid and flip them back over. Now this next time, I'm going to place them in the oven without the lid on and cook it for another hour and a half. I'm also going to raise the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now once it's done, just be careful taking it out of the oven with no lid on. And to serve it, what I usually do is cut the breasts off of the bone, slice them, and then drizzle some of the juice or the liquid from the pan on top of it. Now I usually serve this with a side of sugar snap peas and rice, and it makes a delicious meal. So I hope everyone enjoyed this recipe, and I thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.